XML Elite, greater insight through clearer vision. Have you ever been on a WebEx conference call where participants logged on late because they were in a different time zone and miscalculated the start time? I know I have, and maybe some of you have too. Well, today we're going to personalize time zones for BI Publisher reports in People Tools 8.53. And we can generate personalized reports for each individual uh, PeopleSoft recipients depending upon their specific time zone. So for example, let's say that we are going to be broadcasting a BI Publisher webinar for our employees. We're going to be publishing it from California, and our webinar is set to begin at 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. However, if we have New York employees who are uh, going to be in the New York Eastern time zone, the problem is that they're going to be seeing the webinar time beginning at 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. Now, of course, they could do the calculation, but they could get it wrong. So there's room for ambiguity and confusion. So we're going to see how we can display the start time for the webinar for our New York employees Eastern time zone. So let's go into PeopleSoft and navigate to My Personalizations, Personalize Regional Settings, and we are going to have the system override the local time zone of Pacific time, and we're going to define Eastern time as a default time zone. So here, use local time zone, we're going to say yes. So we'll use that local time zone, which has been set to the Eastern time zone. So when we say okay, we can now see how this would run again by going to the BI Publisher Cray Report Viewer, and we're going to view this report. Voila. See how this time it now prints in the Eastern Standard Time Zone as 2 o'clock p.m. as opposed to before where we saw it printed as 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific Time. Now, one more thing I'd like to show you. Take a look at the way that this time prints out. It prints out as 1-28-2015 as opposed to uh, January 28th, 2015, and there's no indication of what day this is going to be. So again, more room for ambiguity. We have the ability to go into our report template upon which this report definition is based and uh, change the template using the Oracle Abstract Abstract Mask. So here's the template that generates that report. This is a rich text format template. Let's take a look at the LVC date. Okay, so we're going to double click into the LVC date because that's what's generating the date that the webinar begins. When we do, we see the mask, specifically the Oracle Abstract mask, and there are many different time zones offset settings that we can use. This one is the short time zone setting. Wouldn't it be nice if we remove the ambiguity of the day and made it print the day out as well as also specify January 28th? We're gonna do that by changing this short time zone, and actually we're gonna be using a different Oracle Abstract mask, and this will be the long time zone uh, mask. We're gonna say okay. We'll say OK here as well. And we're going to save this rich text format template. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a save. That's fine. Now, what we have to do now is to reference this new updated template with a long time zone or abstract mask within the report definition. OK, so here is the report definition. And the report definition references the uh, former template that we saw. What we're going to do is to define a new uh, uh, template file definition. And to do that, I'm going to do a new effective date here. Let's see. And uh, we're going to upload the newly saved template that we just uh, changed. And if you recall, in that Word rich text format template, we changed it so that it was going to be referencing the uh, long abstract mask. So I'm going to make this active. The date printed out with a longer perspective. So again, we're using the new template. Let's see how this prints out. So to do this, we're going to go to BI Publisher, Query Report Viewer, and we're going to view the same uh, webinar's schedule. So when we view report, this time we see that it prints out as Wednesday, comma, January 28th, comma, 2015. And we see the time, and of course, where we started before, it's an Eastern Standard Time. To close, we'd like to invite you to watch our whole other set of online videos demonstrating how to make more informed operational decisions by leveraging BI Publishers features such as drill downs and charting reports, conditional formatting, and much more. To talk more about PeopleSoft, analytics, and reporting, we invite you to share with us on any of our online communities. Thank you for watching, and may greater insight through clearer vision make your next decision your best decision.